Okay, so I thought I would take this opportunity to film a quick tutorial. So, how do you color flat comic book? So here we go. First thing you want to do is have your line art on its, on its own layer set to multiply. Then, create a new layer below everything fill it with the color. Super easy. Then you want to use your lasso tool and make sure your feather is set to zero and anti-alias is turned off. Very important. And then the fun begins. You outline everything. That's it. Outline, fill in every little item yeah fun okay so that's what I'm going to do I'll see you in a little bit I, when I was doing this, my computer freaked out a little bit. You can see it got a little close. So we just go back in. Add that to it. Now, when you're flatting, the colors you pick do not matter at all. But since I'm also going to be rendering this, I'm going to go ahead and choose colors that are close to what I'm going to use anyway. Now, doing this, it's easier for me. I do the background part of the picture first, and then color everything in the foreground. So, this little emblem is in the background. Continue using my lasso tool, my polygonal lasso tool. Use Alt, because I'm going to 
take away. And cut out all the parts I do not And doing it this way, give me a background full of color with no gaps in between the colors, and which will play an important part when we do the color separations or printing. So if you're not printing your book, you don't really have to worry about that, but if you ever do, you'll ensure that your product looks out coming. It turns out looking the best it can. Again, slow. Very soon around every detail. Fun? No. Boring? Yes. Essential? Yep. And when using the polygonal polygonal lasso tool. If you hold in shift, it'll give you a straight line. Then alt. To take away or subtract from your existing selection. So I'm doing this on a Cintiq, I would normally use just a basic lasso tool, but I did this for years with a mouse, so using the polygonal lasso tool is what I got used to using. Flatting is no fun. Using a mouse to do the flatting, super not fun.
So yeah, this is the absolute most boring part of creating a comic book. Sitting here, tracing out all these little details. <laughs> that's really, that's all you can say. You can just put on your favorite music. Relax, zone out. There's really no fast way to do this. Yeah. All right. <laughs> That's what you do. You keep doing that until every little piece of the puzzle is filled in with a different color. So now I've got the background one color, I've got the design one color, I will make the main character of Jander one color and then break down each individual part. Another color. Again, colors don't matter, you can use whatever you want. But I like to use colors that are similar to what I will use in the final product. Just to make it a bit easier on myself. I want to zoom in as much as you can. It's close. The edge is possible. And for the super straight pieces, it's easier to switch back to the polygonal lasso tool. So you can just make your points. change it later anyway. The big thing you help speed this up is the keyboard shortcuts, which is why on the screen, on screen keyboard shows what I am hitting. Keep 
sweet shortcuts will make your life fine. As I'm rendering it. Different hues would be make them easier to select. I gotta start to render, but I'm not worried about that a little bit. Eyes never use pure white because then I can add highlights. So I always go about right.
That's 85 page. When you're done, you have your stitches, no color gaps. Perfect selection. All right, I think that's going to be it. Yeah.